Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over my favorite add-on for the sim, the Community Downloader. This is going to put together some of the most popular and highly used add-ons for the sim, all in one location. And the best part is, it's a simple one-click install or removal process. Not to mention, it will keep everything up to date for us as well. So if you'd like to know more about where to download, how to install, but more importantly, how to use this fantastic add-on, then stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, let's jump right into this today. And I thought we would start with the download and install process first. All the links for this will be down in the description, so be sure to go down and check those out. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. So once you click on the link in the description, it'll bring you up on the flightsim.to webpage. You just need to scroll all the way down to where it says download, give that a big old left click and wait for the download counter to count down. All right, so once that finishes up, we can just go ahead and hit the start download button, at which time the download should populate down in your web browser. So we're just gonna give that a couple seconds for that to finish up. Once that gets done, all we need to do is to left click on the file. When we do that, it should open up the unzipping program. And at this point, all we really need to do is to double click on the community downloader exe file. It will install everything that we need to in our PC. Once that's done, we can just log out of that. Once you do exit the web browser, you should notice something on your desktop, which is another new icon for the community downloader. When you double click on it, it should open up the application like we have here before you. Now, before you go through and start downloading a bunch of stuff, there's a couple things that we need to make sure are correct in our settings. So we're just gonna come down here to the lower left-hand corner and click the settings button. And here's where we're going to set up our community folder. So by default, I think it's already set up for the community folder for Microsoft Flight Sim. But if it isn't, down here on the lower right, I'll put the link for the address of where your community folder should be located if you're on PC version. And down here in the lower left-hand corner, I will put the address location of where your community folder will be if you are on the Steam version. Now you just want to enter that in the string here. For those of you who are using Add-on Linker, put the directory in here for the folder you're using for your Add-on Linker. So once you get that set up, all you need to do now is to exit out of that. So now that we've finished up with the settings, there is one other icon down here that we need to look at. So for those of you who are not using the Add-on Linker, and are putting all these mods right in your community folder, you do not need to go through this step. You can skip to the next step in the video. But for everybody else who is using the add-on linker, we need to come down here and click on this. Now what that's gonna do is that is gonna now open up so that we can set up custom installation folders for each mod or add-on that we can download within the community downloader. So if I open up the folder on my desktop that I use for my add-on linker, you will see inside I have a bunch of different folders here. So what I wanna do is go through each of these mods that I'm gonna download and make sure it gets put in the correct folder in my add-on linker folder. I hope that makes sense. So let's go through one of these real quick and show you what I'm talking about. For instance, when you first open this up, you're gonna have something that looks like this. So what you would wanna do is to come right over here to the right and right click on the folder icon. Then we're gonna go down here to select and we're gonna select whichever folder you want it to go into. And then I would just go down and highlight whichever category I want this mod to go into. So for this one, I want it to be into performance mods and then I can just hit select folder. And now what will be shown here is the folder for the performance mods of that add-on linker folder. So now anytime that you have an update or when you download it for the first time, it's gonna go into the correct folder for when you're using your add-on linker. All right, at this point, everybody should be back with us and now we're gonna walk through how to download and remove any of the mods. So all you need to do is to find the one that you wanna download, 
you would left click on it and then just hit the install button. It's pretty much that easy. Once it's finished installing, it will show you that it's installed and you will have a little check mark here. If you want to delete it, all you need to do again is just come over here, hit the remove button, and it now removed it from your system. It is literally that simple. So now what happens if there is an update to one of these mods? What's going to show up on the screen here is that it's going to show that we have an update available and it'll have a little yellow arrow here. Again, all we need to do is a left click on that, click the update button, and it will download and extract the update for us. Now you can do multiples at one time. As you see, we have the working title G3000. So we're just going to click on that and click update on that as well. Now the other cool thing is if you click on one of these mods, it will also list the GitHub page for that mod. Now there are a couple extra packages that we can add to this list that you may not see here. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see right here where it says add more packages. If we give that a left click, it will now bring up a bunch of other add-ons that we can add to our main page. So all we need to do is to go down the list, find the one that we want, click on it, and then just hit the install button. Don't get this confused with installing it in your PC. What this is going to do is this is going to install the application on the main page here. So then you can click on that app and click the install button and it will then download it into your PC. So I think that's going to wrap us up for today. I hope everybody enjoyed the video and you got some good information out of it. If you have any questions, drop those down below in the comments section and I will get right back at you. Thanks everybody for joining us here today on the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. And smash on that thumbs up button. To all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.